we, we used to we used to live the rock and roll lifestyle many years ago, but now I think that's one of the reasons we are still doing what we're doing because we we kind of we matured into the fact that we knew that if we carried on the way we were, we'd never be we'd never make it to forty five, let alone fifty five or sixty. You know, so uh, yeah, it's 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 amazing, and uh, you've got to take care of yourself. I think any professional entertainer in any walk of life in terms of whether it's a theater vaudeville you know um movie you've got to look after yourself if you want longevity you have to take care of yourself primarily and uh, and that means looking after your the family so when did you first decide you wanted to play the drums um i was 10 and a half years old and i saw i think it was 10 10 and a half and um i saw joe morella playing with dave brubeck and in the old days, classic television, you didn't have miming, they didn't have the facilities. So everybody that was playing music in a studio on a telly, it was live. Yeah. Bring that back, you know. But um, uh, I saw him do this solo, and I remembered, I'm like, I said to my dad, I said, who's that bloke playing that drum solo? He said, it's Joe Morello. I said, I want to be like him and my old man. I never forget, he's turned around, he says, you'll never be as good as Joe Morello. You knock that idea out the knock of top of your noggin, and he clouted me around, you know, playfully, my father. And uh, and then I got pots and pans and drove my mum mad, primarily because I was using her knitting needles, and she could never find them. And you know, I'd be up there, probably, she, you got my five bees up there, you know, <laughs> bring them on down, you little night, little metal knitting needles. So uh, they finally relented and bought me my first drum kit. Uh, for Christmas and uh, 1963, 64 it was actually. 